Okay, so the discriminant is something that we come across in MM12. And traditionally, you're presented with information like this, where we can see that the discriminant comes from the quadratic formula, which is um, derived from a general quadratic equation. And it tells us the number of solutions. Now, that could be solutions to two graphs, uh, the intersection between two graphs, or it can be the solutions being the number of x intercepts. So, what you're often asked, um, certainly in year 11 when you start off learning this skill, is how many points of intersection are there between these two lines? Well, in year 12, we tend to ramp that up a bit, although I must admit, probably in year 11, you've seen questions like this as well, where instead of asking you just how many solutions are there or how many points of intersection are there, is we replace one of the coefficients with an unknown, and then you're asked to solve for that unknown. So you've been told here, for what values of k will these two equations or these two graphs have no points of intersection? So that no points of intersection, you need to directly link that to this piece of knowledge here. All right, so graphically what's going on here? We've got a parabola and we've got a linear graph and we're looking at the case of them having no solution, one solution or two solutions. But of course this question has specifically said we want no solutions, so no points of intersection between these two graphs. So let's start there, the critical piece of information being points of intersection. Well, how do we find points of intersection? We set the two equations to be equal to each other. If I work through that problem and move everything to the right-hand side there and then pull out x as a common factor, allowing me to see that the coefficient of x is k plus 3, now suddenly I've got a quadratic equation that's in this form. And that allows me to identify my a, b and c thus allowing me to find the discriminant. So what I want to do is find the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4 times a times c, and set that to be less than 0. Now if you saw one of my earlier videos, you would know that when we're solving in equations, or quad in particular quadratic in equations, we w must be doing this graphically. Now this is a different graph to this one up here. What we're dealing with is this quadratic that has moved three units to the left and 36 units down. Um, but what we're really interested in is the uh, x-intercepts or in this case it'll be the k-intercepts. So what I've got here is a graph. Uh, it's been moved three units across, 36 units down and the x-intercepts or the k-intercepts are negative 9 and 3. And we're looking for the values of k where our discriminant or where our graph is less than zero. So I'm looking at the numbers that are between negative nine and three. Now questions like this are pretty typical in MM34 and often appear on the exam. In fact, this one here is from the VCAA exam in 2014. You can go check it out by looking at the VCAA website um, and having a go at solving it. And I encourage you to see how you go and leave your comments below.